Hey folks, Pastor Merton here. Just wanted to give a quick uh, video for um, uh, understanding what Torah is. Torah applies to everyone, but not everything in Torah applies to everyone and, and, and to each person. Each person it applies to uh, specifically, whether you're a Gentile, you're an Israelite, or you're Jew, or uh, you're a priest. They're all different applications. Now, let me begin first by defining what Torah is. Torah is the first five books of the Bible. Now, I'm not saying the other books of the Bible are not revelation or given from God. They are. Uh, but they're inspired. That means God inspired men to write them. Most of the Torah, however, was given directly to Moses from God face to face. That's a big difference. And everything in the rest of the Bible deals with Torah. The historical books in the old, uh, what we call the Old Testament, are what us, not sorry, Jews or Nazarene Jews, call the Tanakh. The historical books are uh, what we'd call the prophets that tell history. Uh, the, these books tell about Israel's history in uh, believing and accepting and doing the Torah and not doing it and the results of that. The other prophets tell about pulling people back to Torah, getting people to repent so they could receive Torah. Now there's a little key in there that uh, has to do with the new covenant that will change how you look at the prophets. Uh, but we're not getting into that now. The hymn, uh, the Psalms, the writings, are, as they're called in the Tanakh, are uh, what we call the poetical books in the Christian Bible, or what's called the poetical books in the Christian Bible, have to do with praising and glorifying Hashem and showing us how to live the Torah. The Gospels tell us how to live Torah according to what Yeshua or Jesus taught. The rest of them are also how to live Torah, uh, whether it's uh, the history book of Acts, how the apostles lived it, or if it's any of the epistles, they tell us how to live Torah, uh, whether we're Gentile or we're a Jew. And then Revelation tells us the uh, prophecy, it's a prophecy in the sense that it is showing us the Torah-based result of rejection of the Torah and the ultimate reuniting of God with Israel. Now, let's just get started. Torah is the first five books of the Bible, but being Torah observant means you must obey Torah and what's called Halakha. Halakha are the rulings of the great Sanhedrin. Now understand, not all the rulings of the Sanhedrin apply to everyone. What applies to a Jew might not apply to a Gentile. Sometimes they do. Uh, what applies to a priest does not necessarily apply to all other Israelites. And so you have to study the Torah to know what applies to you. The uh, the uh, Jews, so all Jews, are responsible for non-selective Torah observance. That means to observe the Torah and the Halakha without selecting what you will or you will not um, obey, except for if it doesn't apply for you to you, like uh, like if you're an Israelite and you're not a priest. Uh, Gentiles are required to obey the Torah that applies to them and also Halakha involved in that. Now, they do it on the basis of seven laws of Noah, the early believers in Jesus. They set up this system of, uh, they set up a system where uh, basically the seven laws of Noah, which are categories of laws, the Gentiles could fellowship with the Jews if they obeyed those seven laws. Now that doesn't mean they stopped there. That was a starting place. And from there, uh, they could advance and even become Jew. They could convert to Judaism or 
become part of Israel. And so that's what Torah is. The first five books of the Bible and the halakha that goes with it, God said we have to obey the court. We have to obey the ruling of the court. And then uh, the rest of the Bible shows us how to live Torah, how we do it. Because there's questions every time we come to something in Torah, and we need to go people who go to people that know Torah, not that don't just interpret it for themselves. In the book of Judges, it says every man did that which was right in his own eyes. He just made up his own understanding of Torah. We don't do that. We obey the rulings of the great Sanhedrin. Thank you. Bye-bye.